For the past six months, we've been working our way through a series on the Urban Suburban Program. That's because this year marks the program's 50th anniversary and because it's a program that started here in Rochester. We end that series today appropriately with the woman who started it all and a man who has championed equality in education. Dr. Cooper and Dr. Young were not only active here in the Rochester community when the Urban Suburban Program was just an idea, they were active in education, talking about education, how to get the kids in the city their education. And Dr. Young, we'll start with you. You were in the city school district and yes, you oversaw the implementation of the Urban Suburban Program 50 years ago. What was that like? It was very, very exciting. Uh, after having written the urban suburban program along with other programs to see it uh, come to fr fruition then as well as 50 years later is very very rewarding did you see it ex could you foresee it expanding to what it is today honestly yes I was very hopeful because I felt very strongly from the very beginning that it was programmed for success. It was programmed for success in its planning, in its involvement with individuals, uh, with educators who were looking forward uh, to implementing its goals, uh, yes. Mm. And Dr. Cooper, I believe you once said that not to give a child an education is the worst form of child abuse. You believe in education wholeheartedly what do you think about the urban suburban program 50 years later in may of 1962 the uh, the presiding judge in the third federal district court a judge burke ruled that rochester indeed was guilty of de facto school segregation So I want to stop there because his answer is very detailed and wonderful. It's a tremendous answer, but I want to provide time for that. So at 840, we're going to have part two of this interview, and the rest of that answer is going to be yeah. on there. So Very interesting. They were there when it all got started. Uh, coming up in just a minute, we're going to talk.